today how to solve this problem and uh, from here we can rewrite this and we say this is 4x raised to power 3 then divided by 3x plus 1 all raised to power 3 so this power of 3 we have break the numbers inside the bracket then minus same thing here we have x minus 1 all raised to power 3 divided by 3x plus 1 also all raised to power 3 which is equal to 1 and from here the SCM is 3x plus 1 all raised to power 3 so we can multiply through multiply through by the SCM which is 3x plus 1 all raised to power 3 so we multiply the both side we have three fractions here 1 2 3 so multiply through by the SCM which is 3x plus 1 all raised to power 3 and then when we multiply this by that it will cancel and will remain 4x all raised to power 3 then minus on this side as well remain x minus 1 all raised to power 3 and then when we multiply 1 by this we are going to have 3x plus 1 all raised to power 3 and from the left hand side here we can compare this with this identity a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 which will give us a minus b multiplied by a square plus a b plus b square so when we compare a as 4x and we compare b as x minus 1 so we can write the expression again and say this will be a minus b so what we have here we call a minus b which is 4x minus b which is x minus 1 then multiply by a square which is 4x square 4x all square then plus a b we multiply a and b which is 4x multiply by x minus 1 then plus b square which is x minus 1 all squared so that is the left hand side then we can equate it to the right hand side which is equals to 3x plus 1 then all raised to power 3 here then when we simplify this further this bracket minus can open this bracket here and then we are going to have 4x minus x plus 1 now because minus times minus become plus so we have this now then we open this one as well 4x squared we square 4 and we square x 4 squared as 16 then x squared 16 x squared then 4x can open this bracket as well so we have plus 4x squared then minus 4x for this one then we open this bracket as well that's plus x squared then minus 2x plus 1 which is equal to the right hand side that is 3x plus 1 all raised to power 3 then from there we can also reduce what we have 4x minus x we give us 3x so this is 3x plus 1 and then this other bracket as well we can add the like terms together 16x squared plus 4x squared that's 20x squared then plus 1 that's 21 that's 21x squared then the x now minus 4x minus 2x we give us minus 6x then we have plus 1 then we equate it to the right hand side that's 3x plus 1 or is to power 3 and from here we can 
try to bring this side to the right hand side right click this first now that is when we write the right hand side first we are going to have 3x plus 1 all raised to power 3 then take what is on the left to that place we have minus 3x plus 1 then times 21x squared minus 6x plus 1 then what will be left with here now will be 0 so equals to 0 then from here we can factor what is common out from here we factor what is common out we have 3x plus 1 common so when we bring that out we are going to have 3x plus 1 out now then what is left here will be one of it is out so we left it power of 2 so that's 3x plus 1 raised to power 2 left here then minus what is left in this part will be 21x squared then minus 6x then plus 1 left here then close bracket which is equals to 0 now also we can simplify this second bracket here then we have 3x plus 1 then when we open this this will give us 9x squared then plus 2 times 3x times 1 that's 6x then plus 1 then this negative we open this bracket so we have minus 21x squared minus times minus that's plus 6x then we have minus times minus here that's minus 1 which is equals to 0 and from here when we add the like terms together we have 3x plus 1 we then multiply by we have net x squared minus 21 x squared that will give us minus 12 x squared then we have plus 6x plus 6x we are going to have plus 12x there then plus 1 minus 1 as cancel out equals to 0 and also from there we also factor 12x out from here and we have 3x plus 1 then multiply by 12x then when we factor 12x out here here we are having minus x and here we are having 1 so we can also see that's 1 minus x then equal to 0 so we have two three possible cases here the first possible case we have 3x plus 1 equals 0 and the second one we have 12x equals to 0 and the third one we have 1 minus x equals 0 so from here when we take plus 1 here become minus so we can see this 3x equals to minus 1 which one we divide by 3 we have x equals to minus 1 over 3 and then from this side we have divide both sides by 12 that's x equals to 0 over 12 which is x equals to 0 and on this side when we take negative x there become plus so we can equally write that x equals to 1 and from here we can check which of the solutions satisfy the given problem we are given 4x over 3x plus 1 or raised to power 3 then minus x minus 1 over 3x plus 1 raised to power 3 equals to 1 now for the first value of x which is x equals to minus 1 over 3 when we put x equals to minus 1 over 3 here when we consider the denominator putting minus 1 over 3 here we make the denominator to be minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 also in this case we have minus 1 plus 1 which is 0 so when we divide anything with 0 we have undefined fraction so therefore S equals to minus 1 over 3 will not satisfy the problem. And when we put S equals to 0 into this given equation, this side we have 
0 times 4, we have 4 times 0, that's 0. Then, here we are going to have 0 over 1, that's still 0, that's 0 raised to the power 3, then minus. On this side, we are going to have 0 minus 1, we give us minus 1, then divide by 3 times 0, that's 0 plus 1, that will give us 1. Then raised to the power 3. Of course, this is minus, we multiply this, become plus. That's 1 over 1 is 1. So we have 0 plus 1. 1 raised to the power 3 is still, you know, 1. So is it equals to 1? And we have 1 equals to 1. Therefore, s equals to 0 is a solution here. So s equals to 0 is a solution. Now, we can also put s equals to 1 to confirm. For s equals to 1, we have 4 times 1, that's 4. Then 3 times 1, that's 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 divided by 4, that's 1. That's 1 raised to the power 3 here, then minus. On this side, we have 1 minus 1, we give us 0. Then this side will become 0 raised to the power 3, which is still 0. Then we have 1 minus 0, is still giving us 1. And we have here that 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, s equals to 1 is also a solution. We have these two solutions now to the problem. Thank you for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.